What's going on everybody, it's Neil from 2AF. Today's video is kind of inspired by the FDCC match that we had, uh, not last Sunday, but the Sunday before. At that match, there were a handful of courses that you were required to start with your rifle unloaded, right? So you can see it's unloaded. The bolt is forward and the safety is on, right? And then your loaded mags were on your body. So what we saw was more than a couple times, and this was just in my own squad. My squad was only one of five squads that were going on in the day, so I'm sure it happened even more. Um, people would pick up their gun, put the magazine in the gun, rack the charging handle, and nothing would happen. Or, or, or if something would happen, the thing that happened was their magazine fell out of the gun. Now, if you've shot enough so that you are saying to yourself already, you know what happened, I mean, good. I'm glad that you are, but there is clearly uh, a handful of people out there who are not familiar with this. Uh, I tried to help a couple of them at the match and, and kind of explain what was going on, but I wanted to take my time here and put this up so people could see what was happening uh, and have it explained to them a little more visually. The first thing we'll talk about is your magazines, right? So it doesn't really matter which magazine you have or which magazine capacity you have. You're going to have a follower that looks something like this, right? Where there's a bump on one side or a high point on one side of the follower and a low point on the other. Now you can see that every one of these magazines, if you look at it from the rear, the high point is on the right and the low point is on the left. There are AR-15 magazines. I don't want to say how many, but I know for sure that there are at least some magazines out there that are the opposite of this, where the high point of the magazine is actually on the left and the low points on the right. There's not that many of them, but they do exist. And if you have one of those magazines, everything I'm gonna say in the next few minutes is just gonna be the opposite of this. So all these magazines, this is Daniel Defense, 32 round magazine, yellow follower, uh, bump is on the right. Old Gen 2 P mag, bump is on the right. Colt GI mag, Green follower, bump is on the right. Um, this is Dura Mag. Orange follower, bump is on the right. Uh, this is BCM Mag, GI Style Mag. Green follower, bump is on the right. So on all of these magazines, we have those followers where the bump is on the right. Now, Here's, this is the same mag as this one down here, that TAN or a FDEP mag. This is loaded up. I've got a little bit of give here. So, well, actually, let me start it like this. Let's take an unloaded mag, right, where this is a black window P mag, Gen 3, right? Uh, gray follower, bump is on the right. So you load one round into here. That one round or the first round, that's an odd number of rounds. It's on the left side. Two rounds, even number of rounds. One is odd, two is even. It's on the right side. Third round, odd number, left side. Four rounds, even number, fourth round, it's on the right side. So your even numbers of rounds are gonna be on the right side. This is a 30 round mag. I want 30 rounds in here. I know my last round is gonna be on the right hand side, right? So here's a full mag, right? I've got, it's the same as this tan P mag that's down here. The bump for the follower is on the right hand side. The last round is here on the right hand side. So I know it's an even number and there's not that much given here, just a little bit. So I know that that's full and that's gotta be the 30th round. I could pull all these out of here and count them over one by one, but I guarantee you there's 30 rounds and this is on the right-hand side. That's the 30th round right there. Here's kind of where the problem came. A lot of these mags will take a 31st round. If you got a 40 rounder, maybe it's gonna take 41. If you got a 32 rounder, maybe it's gonna take 32 or 33, right? So 
Now I've got the last round is on the left-hand side. I know that is an odd number. I've got zero give here. There's nothing else that could fit in here. You might think that that's the 30th round, but it's not because the last round is on the left side. It's got to be an odd number. That's 31 rounds. Now, why is this a problem? Why isn't this a bonus? Why isn't this like, I'm only supposed to get 30. I got 31. I, I, I got one extra round going for me. No, what you got going for you is problems if you do this. And here's why. What is the highest point of this magazine right now, right? The highest point of this magazine isn't the magazine lip that's here or here. It's the top of this bullet. And when you put this magazine into the magazine well, what is that top bullet going to hit if your bolt is forward? It's going to hit the bottom of that bolt carrier. And if there is no give, if you've got no give and no play here, the mag is going to go up. It might even stay in the gun, might not fall out. Like this is not falling out. I'm even shaking it, but it's not going to load. This is the magazine catch. This is the spot on the magazine where the magazine catch fits. It's never going to make it. So say my thumb is the magazine catch. It's going to push up in there and it's going to stop because this top round has got no play. It's going to hit the bottom of the bolt and it's never going to make it to the magazine catch spot, right? And your mag is not going to get locked in. And when you pull the charging handle back, that top round is not high enough because the mag's not pushed in far enough and you're not going to load anything. And if the magazine catch is not hitting this, there's a good chance with a little bit of movement, the mag's just going to fall out. So 31 rounds is not a bonus. 31 rounds will F you up. Take that 31st round out, only load with 30. Now I've got the full 30 rounds in there and I've got a little bit of play. So when I push this magazine up, this high point of the magazine here is going to get pushed down slightly, just slightly. And the magazine, going to ca the magazine catch is going to fit into its spot and you're going to be good. Now, this is the reason why some people say only load, if it's a 30 round mag, only load 28, right? I've got my last round is on the right side. I know it's an even number. I've got room for more ammo in here, so I can guess that this is probably 28 rounds. And that's fine. If somebody wants to load 28 in the 30 round mag or 18 and 20 or whatever it is, I I'm not going to tell somebody not to do that. Uh, I don't do it, <clears throat> but I don't think it's a big deal right? The big deal is don't put 31. And when you push the magazine into the magazine, well, make sure that it clicks. You know, they'll say, push it and pull it. If it comes back down, either try it again, or you got too many rounds in there. All right. Um, just wanted to show you one more thing here. Uh, let's take a look at this, this black window P mag again. Uh, we've got see here. So these window P mags have, here we go. These window P mags, there's one of the springs, one part, one coil of the spring is color coded and you can kind of gauge how many rounds are in there by this color coded coil and the numbers that are on the mag. Now this is not a definitive count, right? Don't trust it. If it says it's five rounds, it's probably close to five rounds. It's probably not five rounds. I'll show you. You clearly, you saw that that one said five, two, four, there's six rounds there, right? So it, it's not an exact count, but that's not really the point. The point is that I wanted to have some rounds in this magazine. <clears throat> And I wanted that orange coil to be lined up with this black mark I made on the tape. And the reason I did that is because I kind of wanted to show you. Let's see if I can get all this to focus. Right, so can you see how that's pushed down now? Can you see how that is now, that, that orange coil? 
is pushed down further than that black line. Let's release it, right? It's lined up with the black line. The magazine is caught and now that orange line is down further. And that's really just to show you that this needs to compress a little bit to load the magazine in the gun, all right? So that's all I got for you today. Um, magazine capacity, don't overload your magazine. When you load, push it in the magazine well and give it a tug to make sure that it doesn't come out. If it is coming out, you either haven't pushed hard enough or you've got too many rounds in your mag. Um, that's all I got for you today. Uh, if you want any of these mags I showed here, just head on over to 2AF.com, ammo. Um, I don't have Knight's Arm at Taupe Guns in right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> but if you want these Blue Force Gear Slings, any of that stuff, uh, Magpul Mo Plus Grip here, uh, just head on over to 2AF.com. While you're there, uh, get signed up for email notifications. You'll get an idea of the stuff that's coming in the warehouse, stuff that's going out of the warehouse and what's going on around here. Um, if I can help with anything, just email neil at 2af.com. Uh, you can call or text 904-593-6922 uh, uh, or, you know, just get in touch with me on any of these social media outlets. I'm always happy to help with anything I can. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Take care.